It's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my October favorite things. Now, like I mentioned, I think it was a couple of months ago, I am really starting to not have a lot of planner favorites because I have shared everything with you guys. Everything that I use on a daily basis with my planner and in my planner, I have already talked about several times on these videos so I don't want to keep bringing up the same items every time so I am having more lifestyle favorites um, to share with you guys so I hope that is okay now the first one I'm going to talk about is one that I mentioned I want to say last month in a video and it is actually water it is the Nestle splash water now this one is one that I have been drinking this morning and it is in the I think it's mandarin orange yes mandarin orange but you guys, these are really good and it doesn't have, the problem I have when I'm going to the store to get water is they have carbonation in them. These do not. It actually tastes like water with a splash of flavoring and it's not too harsh. My kids actually love it. Like my son asked for one of these the other day and he normally does not drink water and he downed the entire bottle in less than five minutes. So, I really, really, really like these. Now, I've tried, I think, every flavor but the grape, and I've liked them all. They come in orange, lemon, mixed berry, and grape at the Walmart in my hometown. They may come in other flavors. I'm not really sure, but those are the ones that they always have stocked here. So, if you are trying to drink more water, but you just can't down the regular tap water, I highly recommend trying these. I really like them, and I tell you, I think they come in a package of 12 at my Walmart, and I at least get one or two sets every week, and we drink them at home, and I put a set in my refrigerator at school. Okay, the second and the third thing are going to kind of go together. So I'm going to talk about them together. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I will make sure to put my name at the bottom of the screen right now. You will probably know that I'm fixing to go through a kitchen remodel. When we moved into this house January of 2015, one of the things that we did not like about the house was the kitchen cabinets. They are just plain oak. There's nothing special about it. So, I put it on my goals for 2016 to paint the cabinets. I wasn't sure if I was going to paint them or stain them, but we have decided to go with a farmhouse theme in our kitchen. So, white cabinets, um, white everything else. So, I've been doing a lot of researching and um, pinning inspirational pictures on um, Pinterest and saving pictures on my phone and following different Instagram accounts that I can get inspiration from. So, I have found the love for Ray Dunn Clay. And I'll put that name right down here so you know how to spell it. I had no idea this was a thing and I had no idea it was that popular until I saw a picture with these white canisters that I was like, oh, I would love to have those. Then I realized there was a buy, sell, and trade Facebook group, and this stuff is evidently very popular. So, I have been, I have sent family members to several, they sell them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods that I know of, and I have gone to the TJ Maxx that we have closest to my house. They never have anything. I have sent my mom when she's been on trips to find these items for me. I've sent my sister, and I've still had no luck. I have one item so far that I purchased in the Buy, Sell, and Trade Facebook group, and it is the Spoon Rest. So if you are not sure what Ray Dunn is, this is one of her items. So you can buy the Spoon Rest, and I think one of them says Gobble, one says Feast, spoon and there's several different ones that you can purchase but i've heard they are extremely hard to find her items at the stores i will pop up some pictures here just so you can see how some people have them um 
display it in some items that are available. So I am now in the hunt for several of these items. So I would definitely add them to my favorite things for this month. Next to say with the kitchen theme, we're going to talk about the mug rack that I got from World Market. I really, really, really like this thing. This was probably one of the things that started the whole farmhouse um, redo in my kitchen. I saw a picture on Instagram of somebody with this little mug rack with all of these little mugs on it. And I thought, oh, I really like that. So I purchased it. I put it in my kitchen. And I guess you would say the rest is history because now I have decided to redo my entire kitchen to kind of, I guess, go with that little mug rack because it's got more of a farmhouse theme. So I plan on, if I can get some Ray done mugs to put them on the mug rack and as well get a a wooden shelf to display in my kitchen to put some additional ones so i'm going to keep my fingers crossed that i can find those but if you are in the market for something to you know kind of display some of your favorite mugs on i highly recommend one of those mug racks now, if you watched my empties video last week you have already seen me talk about these products but I just shared the empty containers. It has not made a favorites list yet until right now. And that would be the Dove Nourishing Oil Care Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I have really enjoyed these. Um, and they actually do what the bottle says they're going to do. They actually make it to where my hair is not as frizzy. See, it says on this one, anti-frizz oil therapy on the conditioner. And you guys, like I mentioned in that empties video, my hair, like right now, I have put lotion in my hair. I've put static guard in my hair to make it lay down because my hair on a normal everyday basis wants to kind of stand out and be all over my head. I'll have little hairs that stand up and it gets very annoying. So shampoo and conditioner are major things for my hair and the frizziness. Now I've tried several products that say they're frizz control and it hasn't controlled anything, but these two products here have actually helped with my frizziness in my hair. So I highly recommend if you have frizzy hair like me to try the Dove Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. Next, we're going to talk about something that has been traveling in my The Planner Society pencil pouch for the last probably month or two. And I don't know, I may have mentioned these in a video before, but I've been using them so much lately that I wanted to include them in this video. And that would be my Cutter B Precision Scissors. You guys, these little things are amazing. And they come with a cap because they are that sharp. Let me take it off and see if you can kind of see how sharp the end is. You guys, a couple of weeks ago, I did not have the cap on these scissors and I accidentally poked myself in the hand and it cut through my skin. So they are extremely sharp, but they are extremely great scissors. I have been using these to cut my Polaroid zip pictures. Now I usually do on the Polaroid zip, I do the four picture collage. So I would use these because they are so small and they have a precise cut to them. So I've been using these to cut those to make sure that I've got the most precise cut I can on my pictures. So if you're looking for a pair of scissors to carry with you on a daily basis, I highly recommend these, but just make sure you do not lose the cap. And I probably would not recommend flying with them because every time I pull these out, I think, oh, you know what? I better make sure if I ever fly that I take these out of my bag because I bet they will take these from me because they can be used as a weapon. So I will make sure to put links to everything I talk about today, but these are amazing scissors and they are small and compact. If you can see, they fit inside this little pencil pouch perfectly. Okay, the last favorite thing that I have for the month of October is actually a sale. And I don't think I've ever shared a planner sticker sale on one of these videos, but I'm going to today because it is honestly one of my favorite things. And that would be Planner Penny's Frenchie Friday. 
I think it's every couple of weeks she will have a sale on new release stickers on Friday. And I think they're like 33% off. And I have taken advantage of this several times in the last couple of months. And so much that I've had to create a additional binder just for my Planner Penny stickers. Now she has the vinyl type stickers so they are amazing quality. And I just wanted to show you some of the stickers that I have gotten on Frenchie Friday. And I will make sure in the um, description below to put a link to the Planner Penny Facebook group because that's where she announces what she's working on for Frenchie Friday when those are available. So the first set I am going to talk about is my Walking Dead stickers. And everybody knows that Sunday was the premiere, which don't tell me anything because we are still on season six. We're binge watching season six. So we have recorded the first episode. So we've recorded the first episode of season seven, but we have to get through six first. So all of these I got on Frenchie Friday because you can get them at a good discount. So I've already used them for um, the Walking Dead premiere week. Then I got this one. I mean, look how many stickers you get on this one sheet. I mean, I, I'm going to use these many, many times. And then the little background stickers. I'm trying to make sure that the camera doesn't put a glare on the pictures. So I've gotten these. So I've got the Walking Dead set during Frenchie Friday. The next set I have gotten was my Golden Girls set. And I probably should have ordered two sets of these. So I've got this sheet here, the background stickers. And you guys, I've already used both of these sticker sets in one layout. So I mean, look how many I still have. And I didn't use any of these. So I've got a lot of these to use. And then the most recent set that I got, I don't even have in my book yet because it just came in this week. It's the Wizard of Oz set. And I don't know about y'all, but it was a family tradition as I was growing up that around Thanksgiving time, we would always watch the Wizard of Oz as a family. So when I saw that she posted these, I knew I had to have them. I haven't even got them punched to put in my binder yet. But how cute are these graphics? I cannot wait to use them on a November spread. I mean, look how cute the Wicked Witch is. So that is my latest set that I haven't put in my binder yet. So make sure that you check that out. And every time she sends you a set of stickers, you get a little freebie set. This was the one that came with my Wizard of Oz set. Just a set for Halloween. But make sure that you check out my description for a link to the Planner Penny Facebook group so you know when her Frenchie Fridays will occur. And you guys, that is all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of my favorite things from the month of October. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope y'all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye guys.